broadening our scope a bit, extending out of uh, networks and into the enterprise more generally in all areas. We need to look at key performance indicators. And of course, these are metrics by any other name. We talked about metrics before uh, in uh, security management and of course the reference to pragmatic security uh, metrics by Brotby and Hinston, I believe. And um, again, the, you know, which metrics are relevant, which metrics are going to be useful, which metrics do give us a, an indicator of performance, uh, particularly with regard to security. But of course, we use uh, key performance indicators in all areas of business in, in any area of business performance to try and make sure that we are properly conducting business. Um, so we want to have the, the business indicators. We want to have the security indicators. We want to have risk indicators. Uh, how can we measure what our level of risk is? Is it changing? Is the environment changing? Um, in our day and age, disinformation uh, is coming to the fore in ways that we really have not seen before. I mean, you know, it's been around forever, but um, it's been used in sort of uh, specialized ways. Now we've got people who are uh, seemingly trying to destroy the idea of of truth and fact itself. Um, and, you know, so that they can benefit from the, the chaos. Uh, and so it's it's not as targeted as it it used to be to mislead people about specific things. But now it's, you know, it's everywhere. And of course, you know, that's what we're talking about. Everywhere, everything. Operations. So, uh, one of the risks that is changing. Well, we know that it's changing. How much is it changing? We don't know. Uh, we haven't got uh, those indicators. We're starting to get some. Um, interesting to look at some of the research into uh, misinformation and disinformation and uh, seeing how much more prevalent uh, lies are than the truth to see how much um, faster uh, disinformation spreads than reliable information. Um, of course, disinformation has the advantage because you don't have to check it or verify it. You just spread it. Um, and so that's, that's a faster process than when you have to, okay, stop, let's see, is this real? Uh, is this uh, relevant to us? so on and so forth. And that is what we are doing with our key performance indicators, with our risk indicators, is um, obtaining that information. And hopefully it is reliable. Hopefully it is uh, useful. Um, gives us guidance as to how to manage our business and manage our security. So... Um, now, uh, in, in regard to management, of course, um, we've got, uh, you know, looking at um, our, not really management personnel, but the, the, you know, the people who are actually doing the, the hands-on management of our security. Um, we've got administrator privileges to look at. Uh, and, of course, you know, this is uh, sort of the the outside end of, of the insider attack. Um, these are people who uh, have the ability to do everything. Um, they are our network, our system, our security administrators. Um, they uh, get to see pretty much everything. They also get to modify uh, an awful lot. And, and so, you know, we have to have additional and special 
features, additional and special uh, indicators um, to uh, try and ensure that administrators are not abusing their privileges, not uh, misusing it, that they are working for us and not against us. Um, now, there are, I mean, sometimes uh, we are protecting them, you know, from themselves when, when we are just dealing with errors. Uh, because not all uh, misinformation is intentional. Uh, you know, some of it's just a mistake. Um, so, um, but, you know, we, we do have to be aware of the fact that these are the people who can reroute output. Um, so if we have a report on their activities, uh, you know, maybe they can tell it to go to DevNo uh, so that we never get the reports. Uh, or alerts, or or whatever, uh, they can bypass the system logs. Uh, these are very often people who know the systems very well and and know that no, you don't have to go in this way. You can you know use the utilities uh, to do this aside from the uh, commercial program that we have paid for. And uh, you know it's it's the commercial program that's keeping logs. So if we don't use that program. If we're doing it with the system utilities, nobody's going to know. Uh, they can, you know, they manage the access control so they can bypass security and access controls. Uh, they can force system shutdowns. And we've just talked extensively about, you know, what can happen in a shutdown and, and you know, different things that they can do um, to... Uh, make sure that the system is not quite as secure as we think it is. Uh, load the program without security. Uh, control input and output generations. Uh, and, and well, I mean, you know, they're the people who who generate our passwords, issue passwords very often. So you know, of course, they they don't even have to steal it. They've got it in the first place. Um, so you know, they've got. Uh, you know, full, fuller than operator privileges in terms of that. So we, again, we have to be aware of it. It's it's something that we have to do, and this is a, a particular area of of interest here in operations because they are the people who manage our operations. And so, if you know, if they get out of line, they can really do us a lot of damage in operations.